Bro, I'm having problems. <sighs> What's up, dude? I'm not lasting long. Dude, what are you talking about? You're only 14. Here, I'll just show you. Ew, no, dude, don't show me your chill, bro, chill. My phone just keeps dying before the end of the day. Do you think you can help me out? Oh, you're talking about your cell phone. Yeah, I can help you, dude. Just get a battery pack. They're quick to use, easy to use, inexpensive. Here, I think I might be able to show you a few. Ah, ah. Hey guys, Lomo here, back again with another video, and battery packs are a great way to keep your phone juiced throughout the day. Say you're at uh, the mall or something, just hanging with some friends, and your phone's at low battery, but you guys don't want to go all the way to the food court to go and charge your phone, or just uh, find some random outlet. You want to keep shopping, right? So yeah, getting a battery pack is a great way to keep your phone juiced throughout the day, because it's pretty portable, and they're pretty inexpensive. So today, me and some of my friends are going to be showing you guys some cool battery packs that shouldn't break the bank. Okay, so this is a battery pack from Lumsing's Harmonica series, and I like this for a few reasons. The design, the capacity, and the value. So it's a 10,400 milliamp hour battery that has a lot of juice for its size, and I'm actually really surprised that 10,000 plus milliamps could fit into such a compact form factor without it being too bulky. The bank is pretty sleek, and I love its overall design. On the front, you've got two different USB out ports of 1 amp and another one of 2.1 amps. There's only one button on the bank, and that's so you can turn the bank on or off. Upon doing that, a number of LED lights will light up to tell you how much juice is left. So there's only one gripe that I have against this battery pack, and that is that it's a fingerprint magnet, and it's a pretty huge one, but it's not anything that should stop you from using this. It also comes with a micro USB cable and a carrying case, which is a plus. Overall, this battery pack is a really great buy that's pretty inexpensive and is a bang for your buck. Make sure to check it out using the li link in the description below if you're interested. Hey guys, and major thanks to Lomo for letting me be a part of this video. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to go check my channel out. I'm sure the link will be in the description. But the main uh, point of this video was for me to give a clip to him um, of my favorite power bank. And I've reviewed many, many power banks on my channel, and I've uh, come across a few which I really like. And um, I know there's a ton of them, like this one, or this one, and maybe this one. But if you're asking me for my favorite power bank, it's the one I bring to school almost every day, and it's the Chiro uh, Power Plus 3. And it's just a good overall power bank, very well built, and from a pretty good company. Um, Chiro is pretty well known um, for power banks, and it's just um, it, cha it charges uh, really fast, and um, it just has a lot of power packed in it for just a you know small little package and. Um, two USB ports and it's just built really well so this is by far my favorite power bank um, if you want to check this out um, you can check my uh, video on it um, just go to my channel and uh, you should see uh, a video on this power bank so um, thanks for um, everything Lomo and uh, I guess just move on to the next person hey guys what's up my name is Luke and a great power bank is this one by one plus so one thing I really love about this power bank is the design it's made with plastic, but doesn't feel cheap at all, and feels really nice in the hand. On top of that, OnePlus makes this power bank as minimal as possible with no buttons and a clean white finish. The two USB ports on the side both output 5 volts, which does exceptionally fast for device charging speeds, though the actual device takes quite a long time to recharge. Speaking of charging, this power bank has 10,000 milliamps, so you can be sure that you'll have plenty of power. On the side of the device are four LED lights, but if you're listening earlier, I said that there are no buttons. To view your remaining charge, you actually gently shake the power bank and the lights will come on. On top of that, it fits into this nice, compact, and durable shell. So overall, this is a really great power bank, and I would totally recommend picking one up for yourself. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please leave a like down below and also drop some comments down below in the comment section. And yeah guys, that's been it for this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.